Gopis are asking anyone because of their desperation. They're asking anyone they see or even, even a weed. They're asking, oh, Tulsi, Tulsi is so exalted, the essence of all flowers. Oh, Ashwat, oh, Plaksha, Banyan, they're all exalted grand trees. They're forms of Vishnu and Shiva and Brahma. Then they say, oh, Arka plant. Arka is a poisonous plant, a very insignificant, quote-unquote, useless plant, but it's very much favored by Lord Shiva. So for the Shaivites and those doing puja of Shiva, they pick up the Arka flowers and they offer the, the poisonous Arka flowers, which don't have any smell, uh, a nice smell, and Shiva likes it. So they're even asking them about that. So they're mad. So their gopis are mad. So they're asking anyone, even thorny, poisonous plants. Have you seen Krishna? Where is Krishna? So desperation is a feeling of hopelessness. In other words, they're bound by hope, ashband. But then, when we lose our hope, then we become desperate. And that's you see in many of the biographies of the great Vaishnavas, fasting till death, they become desperate to see Krishna. Oh, Krishna. If you don't show yourself to me, if you don't give darshan, I'm going to fast till death. Many devotees have done that. I even know one devotee, a contemporary devotee. He was doing a bhajan, very intense bhajan in Vrindavan, Western devotee from America. And Krishna was not reciprocating with him according to his wish. So then he started fasting and for a long time. And then he told me in confidence that he had some special dream where he got reciprocation, then he started eating again. That was a good idea. So Krishna reciprocated. And you see, let's take an example. There's many in the lives of Vaishnavas. I'll take Vishnu Chakravarti, for example. Vishnu Chakravarti Pad is living here in Shamakund, in Vrindavan, the banks of Shamakund, in Govardhan Radhakund. And he was uh, trying to understand, he was writing commentaries and explanations of many of the points in Chaitanya Charitamritam. So Krishna's Kaviraj in Chaitanya Charitamrita, he describes about the Kam Gayatri and uh, Lord Chaitanya's teaching Sanatana Goswami in chapter 22. And he says that this Kam Gayatri is actually the form of Krishna, the Prakrita Kam. Kamadev, Sri Krishna, and each of these, there's 24 and one-half akshar, 24 and one-half akshar, or syllables, in this Kam Gayatri mantra. And uh, Krishna's ten toes and ten fingers, they, the uh, fingernails, that they're moons. He said there are 24, 24 and a half moons on the body of Krishna. That the moon, his beautiful fingernails are glowing and radiant like like reddish tinged rising moons, or the moons of his fin- Chandranaka, the uh, like this. So the ten moonlike toenails and ten moonlike fingernails, that's 20. And then the moon of his face, uh, Krishna Chandra, that's 21. And then his, his cheeks is 22, 3, uh, 21, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then... Uh, his forehead is shaped like an Arda Chandra. That's 24. And then the half. And then Vishnath was trying to understand, what is this half moon? And he couldn't understand. And, and he was thinking, I've never read anywhere in all the Shastras I've studied, and that's a lot. Uh, voluminous Shastras Vishnath study. But yet Krishna Kaviraj is saying this in his shlokas. It must be true. But what is the source? What is the praman? Because everyone, this is the standard. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu set the standard himself by his own speaking. And he would, whenever he spoke something, he would speak in Bengali of his language, of his birth or appearance. But then he would support it and back it with all shlokas from, in Sanskrit, from Bhagavatam and Gita and Mahabharata and Upanishads, it's Puranas, etc., this is the standard of Mahaprabhu's pravachan. Always quote the sources, not that you just speak, 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 speak to some gullible, gullible, innocent audience of, you know, grihasta, Indian grihastas that don't know anything and they won't even ask you. But we should be very particular, exact as much as we can be. This is the standard we see set by all the 
Gaudiya Vaishnava Charyas, whom we cherish and worship, and I have been benefited by uh, most popularly uh, Srila Prabhupada. He always back, it's called back up what you're saying. So Lord Chaitanya is God. He doesn't need any backing. He, he's, there's Mahajans, and there's but, uh, Sri Bhagavan Uvacha. Bhagavad Gita says, Sri Bhagavan Uvacha. Krishna is speaking. This is a Praman. This is across the board accepted authority. So that same Krishna is Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but yet he's in Dainya Bhav, Chinada Pisuni China. Oh no, I'm just a Bhakta. I'm just a Bhakta. And I have to. So he's speaking Bengali, then he quotes, always follows with this. So, the, uh, so then Vishnath is wondering. He's, he's always, he's not citing the authority, but he must be knowing, he, there must be a praman behind this, but what is it? So he couldn't understand. He prayed to the super soul. He said, all right, I'm going to fast until death. He's desperate. He lost all hope. He tried praying. He tried chanting extra rounds, fasting on a codice, walking around Govardhan Hill. <laughs> Everything he could do to get some inspiration, prerna, some guidance, some inner voice. Nothing was working. No reciprocation. Krishna was not yeyata mam prabhadyante. Krishna was mam. So he said, all right, now I'll, I'll put my life on the line. I'll fast until death. What about Amadavendra Puri? 